This is Lenovo Tab P11 Gen 2 and today I would like to demonstrate that you can set up parental control for this device. So to start off, you will need to open settings from here, enter the passwords and accounts category. If you have any Google accounts added to your system, you will need to get rid of them by removing state accounts. Once there is no Google accounts left, uh, re-enter another Google category. This time it will need to be the Google once at the Google page, tap at the parental controls, get started, child or teenager, next. Once the uh, following step will get loaded, you will need to sign into your child's Google account or the Google account that you will use at the child's end of things. So let's log into the SAID Google account. If you do not have some, or well, if you do not have any, you will need to create one. But I do happen to have an account that I can use. So I will log, log in into it. So enter the password, or I mean enter login, then follow it by entering the password. And then just uh, proceed with the account sign in as usual. Then select the account you have just signed into from the list over here. And now we will need to sign into another Google account, this time belonging to you as parent or supervisor. Or to put it in simpler terms, the Google account that you will be using to supervise your child's or supervisee's activity. Then after signed into, you will be forwarded to the about supervision page, where at the very bottom, you will need to type in the password to the child's Google account one more time. Then uh, upon entering the password, tap at the agree button, then at the allow supervision window that you'll get, well, accept or well, tap at the allow option. Now briefly wait for the parent and child accounts to get linked. From here you gotta, you can manage some apps, uh, but as for right now, there is no need to do that since later on you will also be able to configure the app access and well, overall app usage. And well, currently we can only turn on or off some of the apps. So there is two, uh, well, the controls are insufficient. And well, basically we are also looking to finish the setup sooner, so there is no need to prematurely set those things up. The same applies, by the way, for this step as well. Um, and from here, basically, if the device that is highlighted over here is the phone or tablet that you will be using to supervise your child, you can tap at the blue button and install the Family Link application automatically, or you can do it that manually by going for the skip option. And at this point, the parental controls were all set up at the child's end. So now as a parent or supervisor, take your device and well, download the Family Link application. Then launch it. Uh, here is the important step to bear in mind. So make sure to sign into the Google Family Link app with the parental Google account. And inside the app itself, you can do all sort of controls. Uh, for example, set up the daily usage limits, so time frames, downtime routine, uh, manage apps, turn them on or off, set the app usage limits and well, generally see and monitor your child's app activity. Then you can go for content filters and restrictions and apply them as well, as well as configure the child's account settings and manage devices if you have multiple people or well, devices to look after. Then you can also monitor your child's live location if uh, the location access will be set up at the child's device and overall see the most important stuff from your device, from the child's device usage. So see the highlights. And well, that would be more or less it. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.